this is the fastest way to learn code to actually get a job in 2024. So this video is gonna start with your mindset first because that's extremely important. Like the way you think about things is gonna leave an imprint into how you get things done. And then I'm gonna tell you what you have to do to get a job in tech in 2024 and 2025, 2026. This guide is gonna help you massively. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing I wanna talk about is the idea of completing hard things and the idea of us being in a competition. When you're learning how to code to get that first job, you need to understand that you are in a competition with other people in the market for the same resources as you. That this is not a place where you get a participation medal, right? You have to start thinking like a winner and you have to start thinking like, this thing is in front of you and you have literally all the resources and all the time in the world to make it happen. So you need to switch your mind in this way because otherwise you will totally fail. So there is this study that shows that people who take on hard tasks and accomplish them will be way more successful in the future. And people who take a hard task, like for example, learning how to code or learning how to trade or learning how to become a doctor or whatever, if you take that task and you do not complete it, you will start to develop something that I call a bitch gene. You'll start to quit when things get hard because no matter what you try to do, things will be hard. There is no such thing that you can start today and then tomorrow is gonna make you $10,000 or is gonna give you that lifestyle and that life that you are after. Everything is gonna become a nightmare if you do not understand this idea of being in a marketplace that is fierce. The next thing that I wanna tell you is that everyone knows what they have to do, but they don't do it. So all you have to do is to learn a couple of programming languages. So on the front end, you have to learn JavaScript with TypeScript and a library or a framework. If you wanna learn some server side stuff, then you learn Node.js, Java, PHP, whatever you wanna learn, it doesn't even matter really. You know you have to do that and you also know that you have to build some projects to show that you have experience using these things. Most people know that and probably this shouldn't sound like news to you. You should understand this. I understood this as well when I was learning how to code. The problem was that I wasn't doing that. And if you are like me, you are probably not doing that either. There's no way around it. There's no way to escape this. You have to do it at some point. You have to like sit down and say, you know what? With this minimum knowledge that I have, I'm gonna start building something. Even if it's like insignificant, even if it's not a big deal, I'm gonna start doing it. Because when you start thinking like that, you'll actually start to produce something. And the purpose of a programming language is to help you solve something, to produce something. I got an interview because I was applying like a maniac. I go to this fancy building with this fancy dress people. And uh, this guy says, look, you have like a nice personality, but you have no project. That was the moment when I realized like, look, I had an opportunity. I was lucky, but I had no skills. I had no preparation. And that was the moment that triggered me to stop watching tutorials and whatnot and get me to build stuff because this is the only way you'll start learning and understanding these concepts. Yes, later down the line, you can dive deep into theory and stuff like that. There are so many courses that will help you understand theory, but you need to start with the practice. You need to build stuff. The moment you start doing this, the better. Most people take years till they start building their first project because they assume that they need to know more and more and more. In my free course, that you can access by clicking on the second link in the description, I'm showing you exactly this idea. Look, before I started learning how to code, I was a musician, okay? And I learned how to make music by myself as you are learning how to code right now. And I remember I had this friend, uh, his name was Vlad, and um, he started making music uh, like one month before me. The way he approached this was absolutely fantastic. I now realize how smart he was, like looking back, you know, like in hindsight, I realized how smart he was. So what he did was like, he was making one song per day, one song every day. All the songs were shit, but he was just trying stuff out. And me, I was trying to learn the music theory. I was trying to learn how to equalize my sounds, how to compress the drums, how to make everything sound crisp. And I had nothing. By the time I started making my first song, aka after three, four months, the guy, the dude was already a signed artist and he was DJing every weekend in, in a nightclub in my city. So this is what 
practice gives you, gives you opportunities. Most people are not taking action because they are too scared because they think they need to know everything. You don't need to know everything. And you have to get obsessed with making stuff. This should be your main obsession. Like, how can I get home and make stuff? How can I get home and solve one of my problems? How can I get home and solve someone else's problems with the minimum amount of code that I know how to write? Because let's be honest, if you know what you have to code, you can find the solution. If I tell you, hey, create a drop down menu that uh, shows up when I click on a button. Just by me telling you that, you'll be able to like figure out how to put things together in a couple of days. Will you know everything about it? No, but at least you unlocked this new part of the map, which is like the programming and web development, right? And then as you are searching for that, you'll find about query selectors, you'll find about adding and removing class names on an element and so on and so forth. This is how you have to approach this. And I swear to God, if you just do this for some time, you'll start to see how fast it clicks and how fast you'll progress. The next thing is that I want you to be consistent. I'm so sad when I see a rising star. I see someone that has a lot of potential and then something happened, they're not showing up for a week, then they're not showing up for a month, and then they start all over again from scratch. I don't want you to be that person. I have one of my students, we started working in 2021 actually. He came in for a month, then left for six months. Came in for another month, left for another six months. And this thing repeated over and over until he said, you know what, I'm gonna be consistent. And right now, this dude, I don't know if he's watching this video, he's making so much progress. Every, every week, uh, he comes with new questions, more intelligent questions. The things click for him. If you are consistent, things will start clicking for you. And I beg you to try to be as consistent as possible. You don't have to code two hours, three hours a day, every single day. If something happens, code 20 minutes. Take a day off. If you burn out, take a weekend off. Go and have a holiday. When you're on holiday, enjoy that holiday. Come back and keep working. Imagine that this is an infinite game. This is not gonna end, okay? You need to figure out how to keep yourself in the saddle or on the saddle, on the horse for as long as possible while trying to get better and better at your craft. Let's look at some facts. You have unlimited amount of information online about building anything, about any industry. You can go in and learn something about an industry like copywriting, and you can learn anything you want about programming, and then you can take that domain knowledge about copywriting and coding, put them together, create a product, sell it to that audience, or put it on your resume to show that you've created a real world product for someone that solves a real world problem. It's never been easier. On top of that, all your competition, it's not even working. They already gave up on this because it's hard. So if you don't even know where to start, find something that you like or find a problem that you have and try to solve it with software. You can even start selling that software on Twitter, on YouTube. You can make ads, sell it, promote it via email. There are so many ways and opportunities to make money with coding nowadays. You just need to lock in, decide that you wanna do it and just go for it and do it. I have a great offer for you if you want to get a leg up compared with everyone else. So I have my mentorship program and I have an amazing guarantee for you. So if I don't get you job ready in nine months or less, I'm gonna give you all the money back that you've invested with me, plus $5,000 for wasting your time. Plus I'm gonna help you for free until you get a job. But that's only for the people that are gonna apply in the next uh, week. I'm doing this because I have pretty much fixed all your problems we have four interview prep calls per week. We have five Q&A coaching calls per week. We have a sick community. I have the entire course mapped out for you. We have a crypto app, which is gonna give you a shit ton of experience understanding this library called React that is massively important. That's gonna help you learn JavaScript, which is massively important if you wanna get a job as a web developer. And then after that, once you are good to go with that, then you'll be part of a team project where you'll learn how to be part of a team where you'll get real world experience building real world software, okay? So again, I'm gonna get you job ready in nine months or less. If not, I'm gonna give you all your money back plus $5,000 for wasting your time. I do this because I know what I have put in this program and there is nothing else that's missing. You just have to come in and do the work and follow my footsteps. Click on the first link in the description. I'll see you in the next one.
Peace out.